Uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is uh, Petya. I would like uh, to ask those of you who have received the white envelope just to come here on the stage. Could you please come? Yes, four people in the room should have a white envelope that I just distributed. Could you please come? <laughs> no, it's just one million dollars. <laughs> Um, maybe a little bit further so that you can show the audience what you have in the envelope. Um, I would, <laughs> I would like, uh, there should be another person, should be four. <laughs> okay, is, is there anyone in the audience who have a white envelope? Okay, anyway, uh, that's also, uh, uh, that would also serve for my um, example. Actually, I wanted to show you what uh, RCCI uh, RRI Hub is doing. We are like uh, fishing for RRI best practices in, in our country, so we throw the road and uh, we try to uh, attract all those people who are somehow related with RRI. So if you could just uh, say your name and the organization that you represent. Uh, so my name is Maite Lundui and I'm from European School Net in Brussels. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Could you please now uh, open your envelopes and see what's inside? Uh, this is a part of a puzzle. And uh, all the people that we have uh, attracted are actually part of the RRI tools community in Bulgaria. So all the people that we have gathered should now build the puzzle together. Can you, can you show how you're building the puzzle? <laughs> there should be... Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> as, as you saw, there is one part missing, but this is always <laughs> the risk of, the, of, uh, of uh, attracting some uh, stakeholders in the RRI process. Um, so there are always people who don't respond to our invitation. <laughs> But uh, we try with all the people that we have attracted, we try to build the RRI community. And uh, first of all, um, just to uh, have the, the first picture of RRI, what's RRI uh, status now in, in Bulgaria. Uh, RCCI, or the Russo Chamber of Commerce and Industry, is the leader of the hub. We are representing the business and we are working together with the Institute for uh, Micro and nanotechnology from Bucharest. They are our uh, hub member. Uh, what's uh, the RRI status for the moment? Uh, as you saw, we have identified some key players, but uh, of course, uh, RRI is still new as a concept. And uh, as every new concept, there's always the ten tendency to compare it with, uh, with an old concept. So people try to explain new things with old things. So sometimes RRI was uh, compared to CSR or to other good practices or uh, people were just asking us, is this the new name for the sustainable development? So uh, we had to uh, explain all this. And uh, of course people would need uh, more specific guidelines in order to uh, operate within the RRI environment. On the road to building RRI, we have identified some practices. Uh, I tried to gather uh, some examples of organizations of tools. So on the first slide, you would see some organizations that we have identified. One of them is fighting for the uh, openness and for the real democratic values within the society. This is the program Access to Information. Uh, they try to uh, serve 
really as the civil eye and they try to monitor uh, all the public institutions, if they work well, if they're really open. And they are those who are actually bringing the meaningful openness to the citizens. Uh, some other uh, CSOs, some other organizations who try to involve uh, the stakeholders, uh, try to involve the citizens and to uh, try to build projects with them. And uh, also there is a Romanian Association for Innovation who is developing a standard for innovation. That standard has been already uh, designed and has been incorporated in some of the companies. Uh, there is also a very innovative product for uh, radio surgery. Uh, I'm sorry that I couldn't bring the representative of this product, this product but it's uh, quite famous in Europe as far as I know and it uh, uh, has won many awards for innovative products. Uh, also the standard that I have mentioned, uh, there was one very good practice from the Romanian Ecological Institute who have tried to diminish the pollution in the Black Sea with working with the local communities, explaining them what are the uh, benefits and what are the uh, side effects of the polluting that they are causing and actually they try to involve all the uh, communities, all the citizens, all the institutions who are responsible for that and they try to uh, make an open dialogue with everyone. And there is also uh, one game developed by uh, a consortium um, including organizations from uh, Bulgaria and from other European countries and they have de developed one game which is called Homo Responsabilis and this is kind of representing the North and the South uh, sites when they uh, are trading with um, wood and they are trading with furniture so this game is kind of uh, making all the, all the, all the children which are, uh, who are playing it to um, to know what are the CSR, what's fair trade, to really uh, to be in the shoes of those who are uh, on the unfair side. So just a few uh, pictures of those uh, best practices and uh, in general that's what uh, we have been doing up to now. We are still in the phase uh, of developing our RRI hub. So, uh, that's all. <laughs> Thank you.